how to use open seas on your mobile hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use open seas on your phone so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first you're going to open up your phone and what you're going to do is go into your play store or your app store and just simply search for open seas now once you do that all you have to do is just simply install the program just wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed and once it's installed we can move on to the next part of this video so once it's installed, all you have to do is click on open and open up the platform. Wait a couple of seconds for it to load. And once it's loaded up, all you have to do is click on continue. And over here, as you can see, this is how it looks like. They've created a pretty good, decent, you know, NFT application. And as you can see, since they've made an application, it's been known that NFT has been taking over a lot of things. And now that it's come over to the phones and the phone application, that means that it's going to go over to the next level. So as you can see, it's pretty amazing. It looks pretty decent and they have a bunch of different options down below it so we have home this is like their explorer page where you can search for different types of nft different creators and stuff like that then you have your stats over here you will see the rankings and activity of all the uh, you know nfts and their blockchains and stuff like that you can choose different blockchains over here at the top as you can see over here we have ethereum we have polygon and we have clayton and we can see these are all the chains that are supported by the application and then we have search over here we can search for a different type of nft you know the category or you know a special kind like like let's just say animated nft or you know ai generated nft this is like the search platform over here and then we have profiles over here over here we can use these two applications as you can see we have trust wallet we have metamask and then we have enter ethereum address so if you already have a you know a cryptocurrency wallet available to you then you can all you have to do is just enter in the address of that cryptocurrency wallet and then it will be linked and it will be connected over to your platform or your profile and then it will transfer all the information of your cryptocurrency wallet over into your profile so it'll be connected just like that then you have more options over here as you can see we have uh, just a simple more options over here of the about us the blog the help center twitter instagram reddit and all those goodies so we can follow them over there what i noticed is that they haven't you know implemented a settings options which i think is pretty weird although they should you know implement a settings option i think they will and later on into the future but for now this is how it looks like now how do you basically use open seas on your phone how do you buy different nfts how do you mint them so for that as i said before just simply choose your you know cryptocurrency wallet over here into the profile i'm going to use metamask so i'm going to go ahead and click on metamask and i'm going to install metamask over here they also have trust wallet as well so over here as you can see trust wallet you can use that one as well but for now i'm going to go ahead and use metamask so i'm just going to wait for it to be installed and once it's installed we can move on to the next part of this video so as you can see it's installed now all i have to do is click on open and it'll open up the metamask application over here let's just wait a couple of seconds for it to load up and once it's loaded up let's go ahead and click on get started and now we can use either you know import our existing wallet using the secret recovery phrase or we can create a brand new wallet now i've already created a you know secret recovery phrase so i'm gonna go ahead and use that so i'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds so i'm gonna go ahead and you know input my secret recovery phrase and then i'm gonna move on to the next step so over here as you can see i have to input my secret recovery phrase over here at the top and then i have to enter in my password and confirm my password and then i can import all of my you know uh information from my metamask wallet so i'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so as you can see over here i have you know input my account and over here as you can see it says welcome to the new wallet and you can use the blockchain to some action cost of ethereum we'll show you how do you buy ethereum so you can request from a friend so you can either take a tour but i'm not going to take a tour no thanks as you can see my account has been connected now what i can do is i can go back to what i can do is i can go back to open seas all right and i can go ahead and log into my account over here as you can see metamask i'll we'll click on metamask and it'll open up this page and over here i can connect and as you can see connected to open seas go back to open seas and here we go so as you can see i have up you know logged into my account and these are some of the nfts that i have you know uploaded so now i can go ahead and start using it so for example let's just go ahead and show you how you can buy an nft on your phone also keep in mind here's a tip 
keep in mind don't just buy an nft just because it looks good or stuff like that do your research find what applicable usage that nft has and what fundamentals it has you know it's if it's good or not and once you feel like it has a use and stuff like that then you can go ahead and buy it so let's just assume that this is the nft that i want to buy i just simply click on it and i can go ahead and view it onto the main platform over here you know go ahead and open it up into the browser and i can see all of the details i can you know put it into my favorite sections you know i can um, you know see all of the details over here so as you can see it has one owner and there's only one edition someone selling them this is owned by this person d hero and it was created by tubby cats developer so i can see all of the information about this nft over here i can even view the price history the details you know the properties and about the collection as well so these are all the details that i can see i can't buy it over here into the applications itself i have to open it up into open seas to actually buy it so it's very simple it's very easy or we can just go ahead and go back and look for another one as well so let's just say that this i think this one looks cool as well but as i said before don't just buy it because it looks cool or aesthetically pleasing only buy it if it has like a function so let's just assume that this one also has a function so if i wanted to buy it i would have to view it on open so if i click on view on open it'll take me over to the browser section of the open account and over here i can actually buy it so to buy it all i would actually have to do is to make an offer over here connect my wallet so to connect my wallet i'm using metamask so all i would have to do was to connect my metamask wallet and then i would have to enter in the price that i would think would be fair for this nft and then if the you know seller or the creator of this nft actually approves it then and only then can i can buy it so that's how you basically buy an nft on open seas using the application itself now what if you wanted to upload your nft so for that i think you can't upload it as well over here i think this is just an application to keep track of you know your collection your nfts that you've uploaded or if you want to buy it some nft and you you know want to keep track of when the price is going to go down or go up you just want to keep track of it you can't buy or sell anything over onto this application over here but you can view a lot of things over here so as i said before it's pretty fun it's very easy uh it's not for you know buying and selling it but it's just for viewing and keeping track of your nfts so it's really simple just simply log in and over here you can go ahead and view your own nfts as i said before so it's pretty simple it's really easy so this is how you basically use it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that that is it for this video guys and if you liked this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on your notification bell because if you do that not only will you be helping us out but you'll also be getting daily alerts of whenever we upload our videos we upload daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content so just make sure to hit the bell icon and uh, you'll be notified and you'll be able to consume your daily dose of tech videos and other gadgets and other tools that can help you run or scale your business so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye